Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Daily IoT. I apologize for the narrow window. The GoPro is dead for some reason, I don't know why. Uh, and I needed to film an episode, so we're just we're using the phone. So on today's episode, we're gonna go back to the texting dryer project momentarily. The awesome folks at Agility Design are working on the uh, PCB layout and they asked me if I wanted to use a spring antenna, which I've got lying around here somewhere, or just the wire antenna straight. And if you remember, I tried to make sort of a coil antenna using the right length, but then I wound it up. Um, and the, the, the um, whatever, range is not that great. And so I'm gonna do some testing. I'm gonna test it in the configuration that I have it now with just a little stub antenna, see how far out of my office I can go until I lose um, reception. And then uh, I'm gonna try and straighten them out, so do the wire antenna, and then I'm gonna unsolder them and solder on the spring antennas and see what gets the best range. And then uh, I can report back to Agility on how I'm gonna mount the antenna, which orientation it will be in, and uh, so they will design up the, uh, the case for that so everything fits nicely. So that's the goal of today's episode, testing range of the RFM69 module in different antenna configurations. The first thing that we need to do is I've got the Raspberry Pi sitting over here as the receiver, just waiting to receive uh, transmissions from the trinket. And uh, so to kind of test range within the house, I'd love to do some open air testing, but I'll do that another time. Right now, I need to see how far away from my office I can go in the different configurations through walls and things like that. And so what I need is to be able to power this with 3.3 volts. And so I've got this five volt um, USB block here that I'm just going to kind of like rubber band to the bottom and then I'm going to stick a 3.3 volt regulator and uh, regulate the 5 volts down to 3.3 which should be uh, sufficient to power both the trinket and the RFM69 module so I'll have this little roaming trinket set up here so we can test range. I realize that I don't need a 3.3 volt regulator because the Trinket has one on board. I can just feed it with a 5 volt USB supply. It'll uh, spit 3.3 uh, volts out on one of the pins that I can power the module with. So this is what I've got. Uh, I've got the USB. That other one I had stunk, so I switched out for this one. And now I just turn this on. I've got the program running on my Pi and I can see the signal strength as I walk further away from my office. So we'll see what kind of results we get. And this is how far I made it with my antennas. That is the receiver right there. The funny thing is, is if I sit in this chair right here while somebody else takes the receiver or the transmitter, I can get about 70 to 80 feet. Almost like I'm amplifying or acting as an extension to the antenna. Interesting. So now what I did, I'm not sure if this is good enough, but I grabbed a pair of pliers and just straightened the antenna out. So it still kind of has this little uh, helical shape to it, but straightened out, same thing on the receiving end. So now it's nice and tall and see if that makes a difference. Okay, I made it out to my shed, which is on the opposite side of my house. So through all the walls from the office in the basement, and I actually made it, you're not going to be able to see it, but all those lights down there, as a, down the street, is where my mailbox is. I made it all the way out there and was still getting signal, so pretty dang good. So straightening out the antenna made a huge difference. Um, I can only make I only made it to the door with the my homemade wound version, but when I just straightened it up like this, even with a little bit of the the spiral to it still, I was able to make it all the way out to my mailbox down the street, outside through all the house walls, through the exterior rock, all of that, all the way down, halfway down the street, uh, until I started to get to the edge of the range, and so um, plenty. I went to every single spot in my house with the antennas like this, and was able to cover the entire property, house and yard in this configuration. So next up, I'm gonna unsolder this. I'm gonna solder on these little spring antennas, which I feel like are probably gonna have similar range to my homemade version. Um, so we're gonna give these a try 
and see uh, how they compare. Uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to attach this to the uh, transmitter, leave the the normal wire on my receiver and see how far I can get with that and then I'll change out the receiver for this as well so it will be spring to wire first and then spring to spring second. Alright, time for some results. I uh, Turns out the straight wire is better than these 433 megahertz spring antennas. Now we'll this way so you can see that a little bit better. Um, again, I did wire to wire, spring to wire, spring to spring, and it was in that order of decreasing performance. So the spring to spring had the worst performance going from transmitter to receiver, wire to wire had the best. Um, however, I still was able to get pretty good range. Even spring to spring um, antenna, I was able to get my entire house a little bit of the, the yard um, I did not make it even out to the end of my driveway, so that, that didn't make it very far, but, um, you know, not bad. It, it would work, um, but definitely not the best performance. So for the purpose of the texting dryer project, I think I'm going to leave the spring antenna on the RFM69 module for the transmitter. Um, I don't have a lot of room in my dryer, so the smaller compact antenna would be nicer. I was holding these down back behind. I didn't put them in my dryer. But the uh, the performance seemed, you know, close enough. It wasn't a low enough um, drop off that I, I think I need the. I don't think I need the wire in the dryer. So um, if I need to, I can always put the wire back on the receiver to try and boost a little bit of the signal on the reception end. But uh, that's it. That's the the report. If you're wondering whether on an RFM sixty nine module whether you should use a straight wire or one of these little spring antennas. Uh, it really just depends. It depends on how far you're out, but if you want maximum distance, use just a straight piece of wire. I think it's 17 centimeters long um, for the 433 megahertz version. Again, that will vary depending on which module and frequency that you are using. So, uh, But those are the results uh, of our tests. One more thing I wanted to mention was the effect that the body has on transmission and reception. Um, I don't really have any solid conclusions here, but it looked like, again, when I had my just my homemade wire, if I was sitting here, not touching it or doing anything, just sitting here close, I got better range, like 70 to 80 feet with just my homemade antennas. As soon as I moved away and was moving with the transmitter, I got like 10 feet. And so it seems like my body was helping um, with the signal strength on my, my homemade antenna, I'm not sure how that works exactly. I know the body can act as an antenna, but how it would transfer from my body to like two feet away, I'm not really sure how that works. Maybe It's, it's almost like my body was acting as a repeater. Um, I don't know what was going on there. As far as uh, with the actual uh, wire and spring uh, straightened out, so when I say wire all this time, I mean straightened out version, not, not my twisted version. Um, it almost seemed like holding the transmitter uh, decreased performance. So if I would set it down and walk away, it seems like the the performance improved a little bit. And I don't know if that's me sort of like hogging some of the transmission and it's not making, I, I don't know. I, I, I learned a little bit about antenna theory in college, but that was a decade ago. So uh, just some interesting observations. It seems like the body can help and hurt depending on transmit, receive, but just some interesting findings there. Question of the day. I was using my iPhone as the little telling me what the, the decibel drop on the signal was as I was walking around with it. And so um, best I can come up for question of the day is what kind of phone do you have? iPhone, Android? Um, go ahead and stick it down in the comments below. I love hearing from everybody. Thanks so much for watching Daily IoT, the show where together we're learning how to make the Internet of Things one day at a time.